What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to get the Canon EOS utility onto your computer if you lost your disk or you just did not have the disk. What this would do is allow you to take your camera and tether it to your laptop that way or your computer and that way you can control the whole camera from your computer. Um, it's really great. I love doing it. But I ended up losing my disc and I had to find out how to do this the hard way. So here's what to do. You come over to Canon, the Canon site, and I'll leave a link in the description below. That way you can search for your camera. Here you go to digital cameras. And you select the model, EOS, or whatever type you have. And I have the 60D. And I'll go to search. Once I hit the search button, it'll pop up everything I need here. You get the latest utility. What you want to get is the updater. Um, Canon has put the entire software package into the utility updater. So it's there. So that's all you need is just the updater. So we'll go ahead and download this. Make sure you're getting it for Windows or for Mac. Okay, come down here, go to download now. Save it. Thirteen seconds left. <clears throat> Okay, now that we got it downloaded, first thing we're going to have to do is come over here, make sure you got it downloaded, which I do right here. You can come and type Reg Edit, go to H key Local Machines, then you're going to want to go to Software. Now, from here, if you're on a 32-bit uh, version of Windows, you go, after you go to software, you'll find Canon, you find Canon here, and continue. If you don't have it, you'll add it in. But, since I'm on the 64-bit, I have to go to this WOW6432 node. Open that. And I come down to Canon. If you do not have a Canon folder, you have to create it. I have a Canon folder because I have a Canon printer. So we'll open up Canon. <clears throat> right click. Go to New and Key. We're going to call this EOS utilities hit enter now from there you can go ahead and close this out and we're going to install the Canon utility software select your country Click OK. Yes. And it's installed. Now, once it's completed, uh, you restart it if you want to. I'm not going to restart. And finish. Now 
now that we got the software installed, it's time to go ahead and test it and make sure that it works. So what we're going to do now is once your camera's in the on position, go ahead and click on the EOS Utilities. Here, yeah, uh, it's up to you which one you pick. I use it for the uh, remote shooting, so I'm going to go ahead and click that. And this is my camera control settings here. Or I could do a live view shoot. This is me. Uh, straight from my camera that I have recording right now. This is very nifty in case you're trying to focus on something. It's easier to see on a bigger screen than a small LCD. I use this when I'm doing my videos that way. I can look at my laptop because it's easier to see than that small LCD display. But this is it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead. Leave them in the comment section down below. Um, I will get back to you as soon as I can. I do read all my comments. Thank you so much for supporting me. Hit that like button, thumbs up, and subscribe. Until then, peace out.